I made a big mistake this morning. That little white double deep hive there. They were robbing this morning after I inspected. But I reduced the size down to about a quarter inch. Just big enough <laughs> just big enough for a bee. <laughs> that bee just flew in my mouth. <laughs> oh well. Uh, anyway. I'm gonna get out of here. They're kinda of flying around my head. <laughs> I reduced the size down to stop the robbing and I'm leaving while I can. I'd make a little video here. I took a frame of drawn comb, or partially drawn comb, poured some sugar water in it, did some open feeding. I've been cleaning out these frames, or letting the bees clean them out for a few days now. But just to take some pictures, I thought, well, why not do this? Hope you enjoy it. Meanwhile, over at the water station, where I poured the sugar water the other day, sugar water is pretty much gone. But the bees aren't. They're just out there getting some water and hauling off wherever they can. I'm sure the sugar is gone. Aren't they fascinating? These bees know exactly where this water is. Nice warm day. Probably about 70 degrees out right now, but that's the last of that we'll see. I mean, maybe tomorrow a little bit warm weather, but it's going to start cooling down in the 60s or lower for a while. I hope you enjoyed this. I certainly am. Here's a tip. frame on the ground. These have a tendency to climb up the pit leg. It's stingy if I don't like that very well. So I put these on. There's a tip for Tuesday. So first thing I'm going to do is put this down beside the hive. That's going to confuse them a little bit. That's okay. This is a little nuke that I discovered was so packed with bees that it needed to be put in another beehive. This morning I've got my beehive together there, my tools, my smoker, and my smoker fuel. I've got my jacket. All I got to do is put it on and get going. I need to go through all these hives and check to see what's going on. There's quite a few bees out there. They're out looking to see what they can find. They're coming in from outside, so there's actually a lot of bees coming back, so they've been out already for a while. I was kind of looking to see if, well, there's some pollen. There was some pollen coming in. Okay, we are finding something. Now, I'm not bothering to look for queens, because in a few days, the queen should be laying. Should be able to find her, find her in. Make sure that there is one. I'm pretty sure there is. And one. That's a heavy piece right there. Now that actually has honey in it. If I have the feeder in there, I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Frames in here. 
And this one here has some drawings on it. I put that in the edge. I don't know whether that's the best idea, but go get a little stump before we close them up. Get the troops there out of the way when I put the lid on. All right, girls, I'm going to put this on. There we go. We're all done. There they are, a new hive, so they're directing everyone in there. I'm assuming there's a queen inside there with that swarm. So this is what the hive looks like after I've uh, inspected it. There's a lot of bees in there, but they're telling each other, okay, come on back in, we're done. He's all done. I put a syrup feeder on it, the top, and they were getting after that before when I had just a single deep there. So they'll all go back in there in a little bit. Looking good. Wow, the bees are just going to town, orientation flights. They're just flying all over the place. That's a good sign. Spring's finally here. I think there's a bee on my head. We'll just chase him away. Oh well, he's gone. Yeah, these guys were going a little bit faster than this a while ago even. Quite busy. I'm loving it. Wow, and just like that, the activity is really slowed down. They were just dancing all over the place a minute ago. I guess the sun's coming and going. I see the other hives are starting to pick up a little bit. Maybe a little bit of temperature difference will make. So here we go. Just, just got a hole on top. I put the jar right on top of it. And those bees are set. Uh, I'll just show you here. See, it's got a couple holes on top of it. I can just put it in like that with, once I fill it with water. And then I'm going to put another lid in there that's solid so that you know, I'm not going to feed them. It's got a honey super on them. So we'll get that. So at this point, we know that there's no queen in this hive. Well, we're pretty darn sure of it anyway. If, it is, if there's a queen in there, I can come back in four days and look and see if I find brood. If I know there's a queen. If I find eggs, let's, let's say, uh, give it five days. If you find open brood in five days, then you know that there's a queen in there. Hey, girl. I'm looking for a little honey on my hand. If you like this video, please subscribe. It'll help me come back and make more videos because the more people who subscribe and the more time you watch these videos, the more I'm interested in making more. So thank you a lot for watching. Appreciate it.